Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, first I would like to join you and uh, my colleagues in welcoming the students from Isiolo and encourage them to continue coming. And I thank the school for really giving these students an opportunity to see what happens in this house. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to support the statement by Senator Chebeni on this issue of uh, the trouble in our universities. My take, Mr. Speaker, sir, and this is a problem that I've seen coming here, is that re recently we debated a motion on mental illness, which was brought by one of my colleagues. And I think that is where we need now to encourage these universities to try and bring in a new mentoring facility within the institutions. Because this issue of being jilted to a point where you, you leave one place and you go and attack another person and take their life is something that we can be able to really help our children cope with. Mr. Speaker, sir, the issue of love is something which is very complicated that very few people understand. And I think since all of us have grown through that process of where you, someone you know, does not want to be with you, you really feel emotionally challenged and it sort of like affects your me mental capacity. So Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to call upon all our universities to try and invest a lot of resources in helping young students cope with challenges that they go through either psychologically, you know, people have a lot of issues. And Mr. Speaker, sir, if let's say the person who you thought loved you, left you, then you, you, you come up with this mentality, if I cannot be with you, then no one else can be with you. So I would like to encourage all the universities, and particularly the current CEOs of education, to try and invest a lot in mentoring, to try and deal with this issue of mental illness in our universities. And thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Next statement.